Hi, I'm Dr. Ty Vincent, and I'm gonna make a series of educational videos for you about LDI, or low-dose immunotherapy. Uh, to start out with, we'll talk about what LDI is. In general, it's one of many techniques that you might use to desensitize a person to some kind of immune reaction, whatever that happens to be, whether it's an allergy, it's an autoimmune condition, or some kind of chronic inflammatory disorder, as long as you can figure out what the antigen target is for the immune system, and we can acquire a sample of it, we can use that with this technique or other immunological techniques to stop that immune response. Without derailing your immune system, like the drugs you see advertised on TV, that all have the risk of you know, life-threatening infections, um, cancers, things like that that you don't want. We don't have that concern when we desensitize you specifically to a certain antigen. So these techniques are a much safer and more effective way to treat conditions like that. I'll have a later video that talks about what sort of things we can treat, but for now let's talk about what LDI is and a little bit about how we think it works. So there are lots of different methods of immunotherapy or desensitization. This one's unique in that the dilutions we use are way further out, way more numerically diluted than with any other sort of uh, antigen therapy. Um, conventional allergy shots used to treat hay fever in an allergist's office, they might have dilutions of around 1,000 to 1 or even 100 to 1. LDI usually starts at around a million to one and then goes further out than that. Some people respond at dilutions of 24 zeros or further, which is a number I can't name. Um, so we're out in that much lower dose in the homeopathic range. And because we see the same kind of response patterns in the homeopathic ranges that we do in stronger ranges of a million to one or so, we think that the mechanism here with LDI is really energetic. There's some kind of vibrational frequency, some sort of signal that your body receives energetically, and it translates into the immune system to promote tolerance. So it seems to be with LDI that we are actually actively promoting tolerance to the antigens that we're using with each dose, whereas with a lot of other methods of immunotherapy where they use stronger dilutions, like conventional allergy shots, there's a large molecular exposure. So you have this molecular cellular interaction with your immune system that seems to more forcefully de desensitize people by forcing the adaptation response. And because of that, one of the key differences is that with conventional allergy shots with those high dose concentrations, you can actually cause anaphylaxis in some people or just severe reactions. They have a lot of injection site reactions. With LDI, people cannot actually react to the dose itself. They're so diluted that you don't get enough molecular exposure to induce a reaction to the dose itself. It will just alter the way that your immune system reacts to those antigens when you get exposed. So if someone's treating an allergy, you have to also eat the food or be exposed to a cat or whatever allergy exposure to see a reaction. You won't react to the dose itself, which is different from conventional shots and some of the others. Um, we administer this sublingually and a lot of the other methods are given by injection. The doses only have to be given maybe every six weeks or even further apart once we find a dose that works. That's a big difference from the others. Even with conventional allergy shots, when they're working really well, people tend to, tend to still have to go in and use a shot every month or so. And at the beginning, it's like twice a week. With sublingual immunotherapy techniques, they do doses every single day. So this is a lot more user-friendly, less frequent dosing, which means it's also a lot less expensive. Uh, the antigens are so diluted that we have enough supply to last like forever, so that makes it cheaper also. And it's just a lot more user-friendly and a lot less hassle once we get it figured out. I'll talk later about the process of implementing LDI and how often you need to use the doses, but for now, we'll just kind of encapsulate the idea that this is a way of restoring immune tolerance for whatever it is you're reacting to. And contrasting this therapy with a lot of the other methods of immunotherapy, it's just cheaper, it's easier, it's safer, and it tends to have a significantly higher success rate than the other methods that are out there. This came from a method that was originally discovered in the late 1950s or around 1960 in the UK called enzyme potentiated desensitization. Um, and if you look that up, there's a little bit of research from back then that was published and nothing really published about that or the, the follow-up uh, technique in the US called low-dose allergy therapy that's been around since the 1990s. I learned that technique in 2008 and then I adapted it and expanded it tremendously to what we now call LDI or low-dose immunotherapy. We can treat a lot more things with, with my antigen selection and I have adapted the therapy to individualize it better and to treat more people more successfully. So it came from those earlier therapies. This is different. I make all the antigens myself at home, uh, sterilize them, dilute them. We distribute antigen concentrates to doctors all around the world and around the US, about 200 other practitioners. So if you end up switching from one practitioner to another, you should get 
the same or very similar dose and response that you did from the others. So we have our own network to try to standardize this worldwide. And for now, it seems to be the most effective and user-friendly and inexpensive and safe therapy we have for desensitization.